moving on to the next question. Um, AV United, my company, is right. creating a token called Rune. And right. it's a token for fans to interact with our teams that we purchase um, and manage. So how does the use of tokens help AV United? Okay, sure. So I think I want to mention something about AV United. So I think it's a very innovative model when it comes to the esports industry. In the past, what people do is that people sit in front of their laptop and go to some other channels and they watch teams playing video games. And they often have complaints about why the team managers do things this way and why the owners do things that way. Why they hire these kind of people but not that kind of people. They think it's not a good match, right? So I think what AV United um, have created is a channel for people who are sitting in front of their laptop with the actual team who is playing the game. So AV United is trying to use blockchain and also the um, token um, to engage people who are esports fans and have them control a team themselves. And with respect to tokens, I think why we adopt a tokenized method, a tokenized method is that it is very expensive, admittedly, to purchase a team. And sometimes it might cost millions of dollars and to manage a team, it might cost a lot. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> For individuals to invest that much, it is not something uh, quite feasible. So what tokens have uh, in store for us is that we break the ownership into different parts. So it's tokenized asset, it's entitlement to part of the collective ownership. So and if you break down the ownership into parts, you can sell to people very easily. In the past, you couldn't really do that because it involves a lot of contractual work, but with blockchain, you can. So that is something that is really promising about, about blockchain. And so I think AD United has come to the right platform to do uh, this uh, 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 adventure. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Right. And um, next question, how does blockchain, uh, you talk about transparency a lot, right? Right. And um, how does blockchain ensure transparency towards its users? Right, so I think transparency is a key when you want to engage the cloud when you want to engage the crowd, because people do want to know that you are being responsible, you are being accountable, and you are doing whatever they wish you to do. You are not misappropriating the funds and stuff like that, right? So I think what blockchain essentially allows um, that the crowd to do is that they have direct access to what the voting result is. And so uh, right now we are adopting a democracy-based, a democracy-led model when it comes to our team management for esports. And so we need people to vote. And in the past, if we take it offline, it is very hard because it involves identity verification, whether you are a true stakeholder of our uh, AT United teams, and it involves a lot of manpower. And we also need to consider the difficulty of setting up booth, voting booth, like maybe worldwide or stuff like that. So the main thing is about scalability. There was no scalability if you take everything that you are doing offline. But if you take everything they're doing right now online onto the blockchain platform, which is exactly what we're trying to do, you can adopt the democracy-based model in a scalable way. So we have scalability. And with the use of blockchain, there's transparency because whenever people have voting, the results will be made public. So on your side, there'll be accountability. So people know what the decision is and people expect you to carry out the decisions. And so there's a live exchange of the managerial decisions to be made. So I think that really engages the fans. It's not, they, they do not really see it as an, um, an asset they have, but it's much more an active investment they want to put themselves into because they are all very you know, passionate about esports. So maybe at some point in time in the future, this sort of thing can be integrated into the um, esports channels or stuff like that. So they can make real time decisions and stuff like that. So I think there's a, a lot of uh, a bright prospect bright future for AV United. And so you you would agree that transparency is a very good thing for um, our... Right. Cool, and um, last question. Uh, how does blockchain ensure safety? Because with transparency, how does it also ensure safety? So I think safety, as I mentioned, can be put in the context of the fund management for the team. So whether um, the fund is appropriately managed and used, by AV United and safety when you 
put in the context of hardware wallet management, I'm sure AB United have a set of protocols uh, for to, to follow the established protocols. So I think um, I can understand safety in those two aspects and AB United are managing, uh, is managing it very well. Cool. All right. And um, yeah, so you, you also said that, you know, transparency is good for AB United. Right. Um, could you elaborate on that? Yeah, so I think what transparency, why transparency is good is that it gives people confidence in the organization. And so with confidence, they want to engage themselves. They want to involve themselves in what AB United is trying to achieve. So I think there's a sort of synergy uh, between the people who, who between the um, fans and also the team and also AB United. And second, we have accountability. And these are the things that people want to see. Uh, as well. Uh, so but I do want to mention a bit of um, uh, uh, so potential issues that we might face with this approach. So the first of all is about the voting participation rate. So as you probably know, the voting participation rate, the voter turnout in the United States is very low, right? Uh, so when you take everything online, we're not quite sure about the uh, voter turnout rate. It's not because if you don't want to turn out, sometimes they are circumscribed by the, uh, they are overtaken by events, right? So they cannot free themselves from their current engagements, from the current undertakings to vote online. So how do we re resolve those issues? So I think those things need to be written clearly. So is there a quorum? If we do not reach the quorum, do we, are we going to wait? Right, because uh, I, I bet there are some people who buy the tokens, the runes, um, for investment purposes, they just wanted the thing to seek that. They do not want to seek active management, right? So they have different people, different types of rune holders. So how do we make sure that people who do want to participate get a chance to participate and people who do not want to participate um, will not hinder the progress of uh, the team, right? And so another thing is uh, um, very subtle is that because every voting decision is made online, that means everything is going to be public. While there's accountability, there's also a concern about divulging sensitive information. So because every decision that you have made is known to other teams. So will they, will they use those information against you? So maybe um, there's a better model to it, or maybe we have better ways of doing it. So that part, I'm not quite sure. So it's still an um, area to be explored, I feel. Right. Yeah. Um, good questions. We have also had these questions as well, and we're working hard to fix them. And, yeah, sure. Yeah. So thank you for this interview. Do you have any other things you'd like to say or anything you'd like to tell us about? Yeah, so I think blockchain revolution is really promising. It has a very long-term implication, far-fetched impl uh, far implementation for um, our whole economy <laughs> and the whole world because it fundamentally transformed the way we do business because it fundamentally altered information flow and monetary flow. So I'm really looking forward to what AP United uh, could bring to us and also what other blockchain startups could bring to the world. Yeah. Well, great. Thank you. So um, to the fans out there, if you want to see Xiang Jun's connections, uh, if you want to connect to him, see his sites, see his, um, you know, things online, all the links will be down below. Same thing for us at AV United, our social media, our website, everything will be down below. So yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, Xiang Jun. Okay. And um, have a good rest of your day. Sure, thank you. Have a good night.